Debates are continuing among Hamas officials in Gaza over the Doha Unity Pact between Fatah and Hamas, with some denouncing their party leader's agreement to accept Mahmoud Abbas to head the interim government ahead of elections later in the year. Hamas leader Mahmoud Zahar was the first official who publicly expressed his opposition to the reconciliation agreement signed days ago between Hamas political chief Khaled Mishal and acting PA chief Mahmoud Abbas. Zahar was quoted as saying to a local news agency that the decision was wrong and not strategic. Some say such statements are a sign of a split within Hamas, which in turn threatens the unity deal. None of Hamas officials was available to comment, but an analyst close to Hamas said Zahar's comments reflect his personal opinion. Such statements reflect personal opinions. All will have to abide by what Hamas decides. But I think this unity deal will not succeed because it did not contain the mechanisms to implement the deal and lacks the adherence to Palestinian law. The opposition of Hamas lawmakers to the deal has brought the split within Hamas to the surface. They say the move had no standing in Palestinian law. Meanwhile, a Fatah official said Palestinian politicians should understand that Israel is the only beneficiary of the prolonged division and concessions must be made on part of both factions. The deal created fear among some people who care about their personal interests and benefit from the split. They are worried about their fate and we hear some statements here and they opposing the deal. At the end of the day, the majority of the Palestinian people want to end the division. Fatah and Hamas have been bitterly divided since 2007 when Hamas took control of Gaza. The split between the two factions and the ensuing violence happened a year after Hamas won Palestinian elections in 2006. Yusuf Al-Halo, Press TV, Gaza.